everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the user interface menu on RetroArch on iPad and iPhone from the App Store. So this is the official App Store version. This does not require side loading and this is great because we can load up RetroArch and load up loads of games. However, if we want to change the menu, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So when we load up for the first time, all we need to do is to tap on this cog icon and then we need to go to the user interface section here, tap on that. And then we need to scroll down to the bottom until we get to the menu driver to use button here. Tap on that. And then we've got these four selections here. So GLUI is pretty good for a touch screen, but if you're using a controller, then um, I've got my DualSense controller here, which is great. If we wanna actually be able to use this, then the XMB is gonna be way more user friendly. So I'm gonna select this and then make sure that we go back here and then we can go ahead and restart the RetroArch in order to get that menu working. So you do that by swiping up slowly until that goes up there. Then we're gonna swipe this RetroArch off and then we're gonna load up RetroArch again. And now this has loaded up the beautiful XMB or cross media bar PlayStation 3 style interface. And if you have a controller, what you can do is basically use the interface like this. And uh, let's say that we wanna change it back. We need to go to the second item here or you can kind of scroll around using the touch screen. And then we're gonna tap on user interface or use the controller for that. And then we're gonna press up or scroll all the way to the bottom, tap on the uh, button here, switch it back to GLUI. Then going back is an important step. So press back and then we need to swipe up again and then flick this up and then open up RetroArch again. So that's how you go ahead and change the menu user interface. Hope you found this video useful. If you need a tutorial on how to get this running in the first place, then please make sure to check out the video on my YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the user interface menu on RetroArch on iPad and iPhone from the App Store. So this is the official App Store version. This does not require side loading, and this is great because we can load up RetroArch and load up loads of games. However, if we want to change the menu, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So when we load up for the first time, all we need to do is